Hey guys. Hey guys. Hey guys. Oh. Hey guys. Welcome to prompt number 19. I have nothing else to say about that, so let's get into it. We have Mayan ruins and birds. Uh, all right. Mayan ruins sounds like it's gonna be heck. So let's do it. So as usual with any technical drawing like a building or a robot, I was pretty intimidated by the idea of having to draw the Mayan ruins. They're boxy, they're a building, there's lots of details there, and I was like, ugh, I, I don't do these things. But you know what? Turned out all right, because the Mayan ruins are actually pretty simple. So I started off sketching just the Mayan ruins as they are, and then I just put some birds around it, because why not? Then I moved on to something a little more abstract. I kind of tried to create a bird that was inspired by the Mayan ruins, but in the end, it just kind of looks like a Qbert bird. For those who don't know what Qbert is, it's an old arcade game where the levels are constructed by these cubes that are in a pyramid shape. So when I see this boxy bird, I think it's a Qbert bird. And then I just started sketching a bunch of different kinds of birds because, well, the prompt is birds. And I got so into drawing these goofy little birds, I got so carried away that I didn't even notice that I was off screen. I was just super into it, I guess, and just forgot I was recording, which is good. Birds are one of those creatures that I love to put into my style, just like horses. They aren't anatomically correct, but with my style and the way I draw them, I just have a lot of fun and I think they turn out really goofy and cute and I just love them. And drawing all of these little guys just made me want to do a whole page of different species of birds and just kind of putting my own little spin on each of their weird little features because birds can get pretty crazy. This was just one of those illustrations where I just wanted to have a lot of fun with it. And I didn't want to fret over the details, and I just had fun with it because these little birds just hanging around the mine ruins was, it was goofy and it was fun. And I, I don't like the mine ruins, there's nothing about them that I really care about. So that part of the illustration is kind of a bummer for me, but having all these cute, colorful, goofy little birds just hanging around the mine ruins for no reason, it kind of makes the illustration just that much better. I almost gave a few of them cameras and goofy hats to make them look a lot like tourists, but I decided that just having the birds hanging around was enough and, I don't know, making them look like tourists was a little too... It's, it's not my thing. It's more of a middle-aged mom thing, I think. Plus, this way, just having birds standing there for no reason at all is just funnier to me. Birds and animals are just so clueless to everything around them and they're just standing there like herp -a derp what's going on? I'm a bird and I don't know why I'm here. I shouldn't even be here geographically. But heck, I'm here. Also, there's a giant bird in the background. Why? I don't know. Why not, right? Don't- what? Don't ask. Just... what? I do have one really super duper small regret about this illustration. It's no big deal. It's just something I thought about. After I'd inked it, it looked really good, it looked cute, and I started to paint it when I thought back to the alien and tropical cocktail prompt video, where I mentioned I really like realistic things with a sprinkle of cutesy cartoony things with it. And I thought to myself, why didn't I do that for this illustration? This was the perfect time to make this realistic looking, no line art, Mayan ruins and have these goofy cartoon birds just hanging all around it. And I didn't do it, wee. But in the end, the illustration's still pretty cute for what it is, so no huge regrets. I just wish that was something I thought about before. I also thought this illustration would be perfect for a postcard. It just looks like, hey, I was at the mine ruins. And then I saw this postcard and there were just these cute little birds on it. So why not? 
here I am mailing you a postcard. Also, never been to the Mayan ruins. It's not somewhere that I'm particularly interested in, but if I had the opportunity, I guess I would go. And if I ever went, I would probably think about this illustration when I got there and I wouldn't be able to stop thinking about these goofy little birds. So I don't know if I mentioned it earlier, but I was just trying to keep this illustration overall pretty simple. I wanted to put a little bit of detail into the Mayan ruins itself, but as far as the background and the birds went, I wasn't trying to make it super realistic or anything and I was just trying to keep it pretty simple overall. So the background doesn't have too many textures going on, there's a lot of simple lines happening, there's only one color for the shading, and of course I didn't shade the birds at all. Like I mentioned earlier, I was really trying to go for that realistic with cartoon characters in it situation, but eh, I really like the way the birds look just being these flat, simple characters, and I have no regrets about it. Have I mentioned how I think they're cute and goofy? I just, ah, I love the way these little birds turned out. They're so cute. I want them as stickers or something. I have no interest in ostriches, but I drew this ostrich and I find it so adorable now. I, I love him. I love him forever. Do you guys ever do that? You don't like a character or just the design of something, but once you draw it in your own style, you suddenly love it. I feel like that happens to me a lot and it, it kind of makes me feel a little full of myself in a way, I guess, but I think if you can use your style to make you like something, that's probably a good thing, right? Well, I guess that's another prompt complete. This prompt is so different from the last one. Whew, that was a trip. Alright, thanks for watching guys and I'll see you next time. Bye!